Hello and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 14. In this tutorial, we will look at how to perform multidimensional parameter sweeps in ADS. Till now, in all the earlier tutorial videos, we have been running simplest parameter simulation, but there are um, you know, often cases where we need to run um, you know, sweeps on certain variables to check the circuit performance. Uh, this can be very easily done in ADS uh, by enabling the variables and then sweeping those variables. So let's learn how to do that. So first of all, uh, let me go ahead and save a copy of this main schematic we have, and let's call it parameter sweep. And once we save this design with a new name, we can close our original design and go back to ADS main window. And from main window, we have this new test bench, which is parameter sweep. Now let's clean up this schematic a little bit. So I'll get rid of some of these options there, and we will only keep our S parameter and at least include because later we may want to sweep even the, the vendor library components. But in this case, I'm going to use some, you know, ideal LC components to demonstrate the whole flow. Now, the first thing we need to do is um, provide some variables and those variables have to be assigned to these components. To declare any variables in ADS, we can simply use this variable block and we can place this block on the schematic. And let's go ahead and declare some variables. So let's say I would create another variable called myL and I can initialize it with any value, but I will try to go as close as to real values. So let's assign 41 and the units will be declared in components. So we just need to declare the value here, not the units. And let's declare on the variable called my C and let's put the value as 22. So once you have more, more variables to be added, don't click apply because it will override the existing variable you have. Instead click add so that you can keep adding as many variables as you have. So right now I will start my demonstration by only using these two variables. Now once we declare these two variables, those can be assigned to components which we have inside. So if we push into this main component here, we have this inductor and this capacitor where we don't want to declare the value here. Rather, we would like to use the values from the top design. So I can define the value as uh, my L, which is the variable name and nano Henry is the unit. Notice ADS is case sensitive, so we have to be typing in the exact syntax as we have used in our variable definition. So this capacitor will also change to my C. And this way you can keep assigning the variable names wherever you need for whatever components you need. So once we have done that um, you know, assignment, now we are ready to perform a sweep. So by default, ADS, um, any simulator will allow you to do one sweep. So currently, if you look at the x-axis is frequency, that means that's our sweep variable. However, we want to uh, you know, do sweep over various inductance or capacitance value. To declare a parameter sweep, we can go to any of the simulation option here. So let's go to S parameter library template. And in S parameter library palette, we do have a component here called parameter sweep that can be placed on a schematic. And now we can double click and define a parameter to sweep. So let's say I will declare my first variable to be my L. Starting value would be 10 and going to 100 and then a step of five. So that means we are going to sweep 19 values for that inductor from 10 to 100 and a step of five. Now, when we are sweeping these values, we need to link it to a particular simulator. So right now in our design, we have SP1 as our simulator. So we will use SP1 here. And as simple as that. So now once we do this, we go ahead and run our simulation and the parameter sweep will be performed. And if we insert a new graph and select, for example, S21 to be plotted in DP, now we see family of curves, not a simple curve. So this way, we are able to do parameter sweeps and look at the frequency response if inductor value changes from 10 to 100. Now, if we have more variables to sweep, we can create nested loop. And in that case, let me control C and control V to copy and paste this parameter sweep. And now we can declare this variable name to be my C. 
And now to create nested loop, we need to link each other. So SP1 is linked to sweep one. And now instead of calling SP1 here, which otherwise will create the independent parameter sweep, we will call sweep one, which is the name of this parameter sweep. And now for this capacitor, I would like to sweep the value from five to 50 in a step of, um, let's say five. So now, the total number of simulation we will end up running is, let's calculate. So we have 19 points from here, and we do have 19 from here. So 19 cross 19 simulations would be performed. So if we run the simulation again, and we can notice now the response will be a lot more complicated because 19 cross 19 results are there. But that's how you run multiple parameter sweep in ADS. In next video, we will talk about how to do multidimensional data processing in ADS. So that's your five minutes learning about parameter sweep in ADS. Thanks for watching.